Hello and welcome. This is Kevin Nelson known as AWOL. And today's project was meant to be a blindside creation of this, which was pattern number 101789. Um, what happened is I put, brought it into GIMP and worked on it and had a pattern sort of like this kind of worked out. I wanted to have like a long white uh, coming into it and then the other pieces in the uh, dark area coming out of it. Um, and I put a lot of work into the video. It was a rather longer one for pattern making as far as that goes, but somehow, um, I didn't save it at the end of putting together the whole pattern and making the video. I didn't save it. I tried going back and looking at the video that I had made and tried to rework it out. So I just have the pattern and I would just go forward from that. And the more that I tried to work it out, the more I just felt like it's kind of flawed. And um, one of the things about this pattern in particular, I didn't kind of care for. I'll show you. Um, every single time it comes down, it it bounces, you know, from one side to the other. So there's a lot of knots that just change its direction. And... Um, I was reminded that a long time ago when um, I was like really new to bracelets, um, I realized that doing two colored ones, you could make it for somebody that's really easy. So I've started this and I wanted to kind of show you guys what this is and what we can do with it. And it's kind of fun, right? So what I've done is... Um, in the event that um, the black is going across and it's under, you know, the blue is there, um, it can be either or, right? So we haven't filled in anything there. But when the black gets over to the side and you have a black and a black, there's no choice as to what that knot can be, right? So that's everywhere where it's absolutely what it has to be. Like these areas of blue over here on the side, it can't be a black one because there isn't a string over there to give it that color, right? So um, you can see it kind of comes across to the right, then it goes across to the left, back to the right, back to the left, and then back to the, the bottom of it. Um, so like I said, early on, I discovered this and um, we can do something fun, right? We can take this this darker color, it's gray, I didn't use black because if you want to change the color, um, it just, you would end up changing all of the lines as well. But you can put just about anything you like inside of there. Um, I'm just making a great big old spiral, right? So there's like the first one and then maybe the second one so that came off the base there. Maybe it comes this way. And by like leaving that little gap here to come through. Um, yeah, let's go take it all the way to the outside. Why not? But if you want, you could make a yin yang shape. You can make, whoops, one too far. Um, Why is that not as cool as the other one? That's really weird. Hang on. Let's back this up some. See, I'm really confused on how to do that now. <laughs> um, like I said, there was a yin-yang I did. It had like little squares off like that and then i don't know i'd have to go back to my portfolio on my web page and get the, the pattern to do it um that really bothers me so maybe it's supposed to okay so i paused for a second went and got, looked at my image that i had that's kind of the yin yang effect um that i was talking about except for the other one that I had done before had 10 strings 
Uh, this is only eight. 16 coming down, eight going into it. The other one was uh, 20 coming down, so 10 going into it. Um, I don't know about the spiral thing. Um, you could do that half thing inside of here. Um, I am completely undecided what I'm going to actually make for the bracelet, but I just wanted to throw together a video, kind of let you guys know what happened. One of the things didn't turn out. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try to make the most of it. I'm going to try to make something neat. So that is the plan. I will be back tomorrow with a cool bracelet. I'll let you know how it goes. And the webpage will have the patterns that I uh, create. So yeah. And before I go, I want to thank my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members for making all of this possible. This has been like just a, a crazy different sort of thing that happened. Um, and it's nice to know that even like when I'm not having my most productive days or things get a little bit weird, that I have their support, you know, that encouragement to keep going, even when I'm kind of lost and I'm not sure what I'm, I'm going to work with. Um, they've given me this platform to be able to still do it. And I'm going to try to do my best for you guys. I want to come up with some neat stuff and... Um, I don't know where it's going to go, but I'm going to try experimenting and see exactly like how can I make this really super cool for you. So, and as well as making it easy, um, the other pattern that was given to me was kind of difficult. I think I can make it a whole bunch easier and uh, we can have some fun with it. So thanks for hanging out with me. And as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.